The date was December the 12th. The day was absolutely perfect for football. Sunny skies and temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. The opponent was Portland State. Both teams had 11 one and one records and both could score points. The 87 team was very special to me just because of the fact that it's hard to repeat. Now we didn't repeat it in the very second, you know, following year. It was 84 and then to 87, but a lot of those players were freshmen in 84 and they did repeat by the time they were a senior. And to see that, see the joy on those guys' faces and to know the work that they put into it was just absolutely a beautiful thing to see. And I thoroughly enjoyed my time. Trojans were pretty much assured of a bid to the NCAA Division II playoff, but you can never tell when voting is involved. So Troy State needed a win against Jacksonville State in the season finale to assure a spot in the final eight. Jack State was probably the most intense without any question. I mean, they'd throw rocks at me, the radio guy. They'd go out and push the bus. The, the football team was arriving, I mean, push, trying to push it sideways and rock it if they stopped at a stop sign or a traffic light. I mean, it was unbelievable what they'd do. We had a quarterback one time, Willie Tullis, fast as grease lightning. All of a sudden, when we showed up up there, the football was a sea of mud, but there was no soggy ground anywhere else in the entire city of Jacksonville. One of my favorite memories is the semifinal game. Now, the championship game up at Brawley Stadium in Florence was fantastic, but the semifinal game, we had to go down to Orlando and play Central Florida. And we beat Central Florida. And I remember going down the elevator after that ball game, and I've never seen so many irate fans in my life. Their fans booster club had already leased and chartered a Delta stretch jet to take their fans from Orlando up to Florence to see Central Florida in the national championship game, and they weren't going. And they were really sweating BBs on how in the world they were going to get out of that lease. And I don't know whether they did or not, to be honest. The Trojans went on to a 31-10 win and earned a trip to Florence, Alabama and the national championship game. Mike Turk at quarterback and you had the split ends and uh, Titus Dixon and uh, Julius Pittman. Of course, Kenny Edenfield, who's on the coaching staff right now, was a split end on uh, that uh, team as well. Uh, Doug Mims was one of the defensive backs. Uh, linebacker, Garrick Pimento was a good one. Uh, defensive line, Gary Rump. Uh, let's see, uh, Greg Stewart was on that, and uh, he played on the 84 championship team as well. David Sumrall, Freddie Thomas was as good a safety as you'll ever see. He was a fine one, had a great game. Randy Wilkes was on the offensive line along with uh, Steve Campbell, I believe, was, was the center on that team. Just a lot of good memories of some good, good football players. Quality people too, I might add. Boy State University, NCAA Division II, Football Champions of 1987.